Today on CityCast Philly, online reviews are so helpful when you need to buy products or before you head to that restaurant you saw on your Instagram timeline. But do you read reviews for iconic landmarks? Well, back in December, the CityCast Philly team and I tried to identify famous Philly spots by their one-star reviews. Yeah, Philly's got some haters. It's Monday, March 11th. I'm Trina Nuri, and here's what Philly's talking about. Joining me is CityCast executive producer, Laura Benchoff, and producer, Abby Fritz. Hey, y'all. Hey, Trina. Morning, Trina. I'm ready for this game. Laura is going to read some one-star reviews from Philly Landmarks and some of the most famous spots to visit. And Abby and I are going to guess which place it is. That's right. That's right. Get ready. I hope these are (laughs) not too hard, but like a little bit hard, but we'll find out. So yeah, just to explain my process a little bit, I went on to Google. I went to some pretty famous places in the city and I looked at the lowest reviews and I tried to stay away from ones that felt kind of like mean or biased against Philly. You know, the city has some haters and I'm just not going to wade into that <laughs> um, and try to find ones that were kind of funny. Okay. So for each place, I picked about three. I'll leave out the name of the site if it's in the review at all. The first one of y'all, Trey and Abby, to call out the answer. We'll get it correct and I'll keep score. And at the end, we'll see who could better identify these landmarks by their haters. Wow. It's getting serious. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh. Y'all ready? Okay. So we're going to start with a pretty touristy spot. Um, that's all I'll say for now. So the first review is from Livio Azzoni. Mm-hmm. And this person said, it's sad that this ugly thing has somehow become a Philadelphia icon. Expect long lines. Oh, the Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent guess, but no. Oh! No. Is it the Rocky statue? Okay, you got it. I didn't even have to go to the second one. Yes. Oh my God! Long lines. That's all I needed. Yes. Abby got it from that alone? That is all you needed? Apparently. <laughs> okay. Some of these were really funny, though. Let's hear them. Uh, yeah, you would have got it from the second one. The second one was, I do not like tributes to people who have not contributed anything to the world. And I feel uh, like that, that would have been a good I would have got that, yeah, after that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm trying to keep the first ones pretty vague. So, all right. Great job, mm-hmm. Abby. Wow. One point, Abby. Ding, ding. Thank you. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, moving on. Keeping, um, you know, in the, I would say, pretty touristy vein. This is another place you can see uh, in the city. So this review, first review, is from Grace Jones. Grace said, like the architecture, hate the people who work there. Oh, like the architecture. Is it City Hall? Maybe Art Museum? Abby again. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I can see what they meant by that. That was was funny. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny. That one is funny. Subtle. And this one... Like, had a lot of really funny reviews because people reviewed everything. They reviewed, like, the judges. They reviewed the traffic <laughs> court. They reviewed the parking outside. Like, oh my God. because so many people passed through City Hall for so many different reasons. So I guess, like, there was just a lot of opinions circulating. But it's, like, the effort that you take to actually write it. Right. You must you know have I mean? felt really strongly. Um, yeah. Okay, I did want to read one other review for this place because I also thought it was funny, if that's okay. Do it. It was, this place is quite dated and always under construction. Just finding the entrance is a task in itself. No one cares to help you in this labyrinth of stupidity. And when you come to the front office, you literally have to sign in where they give you a badge to wear. Like so much, this is like the beginning. This one was like pages. Like the badge is pretty standard. The like, entrance might be actually real yes. because there really is not a clear sign of where you can go because you can enter City Hall in four different directions. Yes. And the mm-hmm. different entrances are for different parts of the building you want to go in, right? So it's confusing. Mm-hmm. It is not well marked. I honestly, I agree. I do like the architecture of City Hall. I agree with that. I think it's beautiful. Um, but I do agree that it is confusing in there. Do y'all write reviews? I never have. Do you? No, not once. I've never written a review. If the review is not something that I can put like stars, mm-hmm. then I just like don't know sometimes what to say. I might have 
left one review maybe on mm. Amazon, but I really mm. rely on the on the community yeah. to provide it for me. Right. I've I might be a grifter is what I feel like because I love reviews. I will research the crap out of something, but mm. I'm not always doing my part. Yeah. Okay. On to our next one. We're gonna start with a review from Ronell Roper. I had a horrible experience. Security is trained like TSA agents at the airport. There were five security agents at the entrance. You have to remove belts and check baby strollers. This is another tourist attraction. Is this the Liberty Bell? You are right again, Abby. I'm good at this. <laughs> oh my God. I need to make these harder. What were some of the other reviews from the Liberty Bell? Yeah. So the next one was from someone named Justin Hazel, and they said, I've heard about the Liberty Bell all my life, went to see it. Turns out that it and all the stories about it are total BS, not worth the time or effort. The one redeeming quality is it's near the much better Benjamin Franklin Museum. I got to say, a lot of the reviews were like this. People are just sort of like underwhelmed. That was in the third review, the word underwhelming. You know, I think it gets set up a lot as this big historical monument, and then people are kind of disappointed after they wait in that line. I don't know. Have y'all ever been to the Liberty Bell? Yes, for like a school trip. School. Do you remember it well? No, I don't. (laughs) I don't remember like laying eyes on it at all. I remember the line. I remember the line too. What about you, Abby? Um, yeah, I've been to the Liberty Bell a couple times, I think, because all of my family is not from Pennsylvania. It's like anytime someone comes to visit me, they're like, oh, my God, let's go, Bell. let's go to the Rocky statue. Oh, my God. How many times have you been? Like four, like in the past two years. Wow. You know, it's it's a lot. All right. We're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, more one star reviews to guess. And based on the scorecards, Abby's winning, (laughs) y'all. You're listening to CityCast Philly. Okay, Abby and Trinae, we're going to head into our next one-star review, another kind of touristy zone. The score is currently Abby 3, Trinae 0. Let's see if we can even it out in this back half of the show. This is a review from Rudy Weber. People love this place but I found it very crowded and stressful. It made it hard to enjoy the experience for me. I also did not like how you have fish places mixed in with candy shops. Oh, Reading Terminal. Yeah. That I agree with. It smells really fishy in some parts of Reading Terminal. And you're like, I just want to eat my sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. (laughs) I've literally never thought about it like that. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I, and I love fish, though, so maybe that's why it doesn't bother me. I'm like, mm, smells like the sea. I mean, because I know it's a hodgepodge of things. I don't, like, have high standards for, like, mm-hmm. what it needs yeah. to smell mm-hmm. like. I'm just really mm-hmm. worried about, like, how good the food is. It's true. And there is some really good food in there. But the crowdedness, I, I agree with that that review. For sure. Yeah, a lot of people also complain about there not being enough seats, which I do feel. Yeah, there's nowhere. Sometimes you go in there and you cannot find a chair anywhere. But yeah, the things people will nitpick, I'm like, okay. You know what I wish they could do? I wish they could block off that street. What is it, Filbert? And do yeah. like more outside mm, seating. The covered street, yeah. that one. Oh, okay. yeah, like a pedestrian street with like like chairs and stuff. Oh, that would be really cute. That would be cool. I will say... All of these places, overall, their average score is quite high. So these are just the, I was looking. I was looking for the people who had problems. Okay, so for the next review, we are going to head outside. There's going to be our outside theme for the back half of the show. First review up for this one is kind of vague. Beautiful area. God help you finding parking. That could be anywhere in Philly, though. Schuylkill River, Kelly Drive. Great guesses, but no. I'll read the next review. Yeah, let's hear the next tip. Corey Dissinger says, it's a pretentious, yuppie mecca. (laughs) Wow. Is it like Rittenhouse? Abby gets another point. Oh, nice. (laughs) Pretentious, yuppie. (laughs) But like Rittenhouse as a destination? Yeah, Rittenhouse Square, sorry, is the specific, the park there. Oh, okay. Yes. Rittenhouse Square, yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. I don't know if I agree with pretentious yuppie mech. I feel like everybody could pass through there. Although there are, are a lot um, of designer dogs. I will say I kind of understand what they're saying. Yeah. You've got the French restaurants on um, right. one half of it. You've got these really beautiful like apartment condos. Um, yeah, I see that. I see that. It's It's definitely a bougie area. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I guessed it. Mm-hmm. But I do love the frog and goat statues. Those are Rittenhouse's redeeming qualities, in my opinion. I know about the goat. I like the art shows that pass through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love going by there on the weekends. There's a farmer's market or there's like art sales. I don't know. Um, and it's really pretty at night, too. All right. We're sticking with the outside theme. Next review. we got a couple left. Dan S.W. wrote, horrible pavement entering Philly. Entering. Huh. Another review. Another bridge the pirates have taken over. Extortion amount, $5. Ben Franklin Bridge, like old city-ish wow. area? Correct. Because I was thinking the cobblestones. Mm. Wow. Yes. It is the Ben Franklin Bridge. Trine, that is your point. I was trying to find reviews of people who walked it because mm-hmm. it's like, it's beautiful. You've walked it? Yeah. I used to walk it when I worked at WHYY. The wind, I would be so afraid of the wind blowing me over <laughs> <laughs> and I'm landing in Delaware River. Deep fears. <laughs> it's true. Sometimes it is windy, but I don't know, on like a really pretty day, it's like a really nice view into the city. Mm-hmm. I will say the last review I totally agree with for the Ben Franklin Bridge. There is a way if you get in the wrong lane, you get stuck and you accidentally go to New Jersey. Yeah. (laughs) Nightmare. That's funny. It's like and I have I feel like every time I'm in the car with someone visiting Philly, they like almost do it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't want to go there because then you have to go to New Jersey and you have to pay five (laughs) dollars to get back into the city. Like the layout is very confusing when you're driving. It is. In Old City. Anyway. Here's the last one, also outside. Stephen Shugart wrote, the mountain bikes have ruined hiking. They are rude and wicked toward hikers. The bikes have ruined the trails by exposing rocks and erosion everywhere. The wicked. Yeah. All right. That, mm-hmm. that is a tie. Said that first? It was a tie. I feel like we both tie. said it at the same time. You did say it at the same time. For this one, I will say uh, there were a lot of reviews, some of them pretty recent, about people's cars getting broken into. Like if you mm. park by the side of the road to go into mm-hmm. the second, I was like, ooh, maybe that is a good point. Like don't leave any valuables yeah. in your car. Mm. I don't know. It could happen anywhere, but. Parking is tough. And also it's, they have like these weird hours where it's like they'll close off the parking. Mm-hmm. Oh, like in the lots and stuff? Yeah. There? And it's not that much parking. If you, Yeah. If you can even get a spot there to begin with. Yeah. I feel like I always end up parking on the street over there. Mm-hmm. Like parking outside. I end up like hiking in from like some random like house areas. Like I'll park like mm-hmm. in a neighborhood and then I'll just like find the trail, you know, because that's easier for me yeah. parking wise. All right. Well, the final score with that tied point was Trine three, Abby with five. Ay. Abby's our winner. <laughs> Yay. Just faster on the draw, I think. I I, I was willing to commit. But I don't know. I thought that was fun. Y'all did a really good job. None of these were too stumpy. So maybe I got to go harder next time. Deeper cuts. All right. That was CityCast Philly executive producer Laura Benchoff and producer Abby Fritz. This was a fun game, y'all. Thanks so much, Trinae. And thanks for finding all these, Laura. Yeah, thanks for letting me quiz you. I'll try to try to make them harder next time. That's all for today here on CityCast Philly. How well did you do? (laughs) If you enjoyed this episode, tell a friend, rate the show, leave us a review and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to sign up for our morning newsletter, Hey Philly, to learn more about what else Philly's talking about. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. Bye. Bye.